Hi, Jesse here with 4C and Razor Sharp Networks, helping you build better business systems. And I got another great training for you, spotlighting Facebook content calendars. And hopefully this will give you some ideas. It's a one in seven part video series to give you some ideas about your daily Facebook posts and engagements. And hopefully get you thinking around creating a content calendar for the uh, information that you're posting on Facebook so that it can be congruent and you can attract the people that are looking for that information on a regular basis. So what I'm going to do first and foremost before I jump into the training, uh, if you're watching this video on our web page, I'm sure there's some links below where you can take advantage of some of our products, services, and or free information uh, in order to help you market your business more effectively online. So I'd encourage that you take advantage of that. Uh, I'm sure there's some detailed information below and or if you're on one of our syndicate sites, uh, look in the description of the video. We've probably included some links there as well. So I'll jump right into this training. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is go ahead and log into Razor Sharp Networks portal and uh, access the Facebook content calendar. And what this will do is it will give me the ability to... Um, you know, look on the content calendar, see what I have scheduled for today, see if there's anything that can give me some ideas in regards to what I want to post. Uh, as you can see here for your Facebook post, today is Friday. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to give a shout out to others that we respect and admire, whether this is a business uh, and or an individual. Now, the important part to understand with this piece is uh, if you have a business page profile that you're publishing this from, you can only spotlight other businesses on there. But if you do have uh, a personal page, you can spotlight businesses, and then you could also spotlight uh, individuals as well. So depending on what profile that you're going to publish from, uh, this is a good thing to uh, – good. It, it's good to distinguish and then uh, set up your, your Facebook post based off of uh, who, you, who it is that you want to spotlight. So – what I'm going to do first and foremost is uh, I'm going to change my profile to 4C Communications. We love to utilize 4C uh, as an example here. And we're going to go out and uh, go ahead and change the profile up there with the carrot in the top right hand corner. And then I'm going to come down to what's on your mind. And there's a couple of uh, items that I'm going to spotlight and uh, one of them here. Is this application that we utilize on a regular basis? On a regular basis, it's uh, Box Sheesh, and they have a they have a Facebook application that uh, gives you the ability to do custom HP, HTML tabs uh, to help you out with your Facebook uh, custom tabs, and we utilize them quite frequently. Um, and we just want to give them a, good, a little bit of a shout out. As you can see there, we just create a nice simple post that spotlights them, gives them a little bit of uh, recognition, and uh, you know we utilize them frequently. So this is a genuine shout out to somebody that uh, we utilize on a regular basis. Um, and then another one. is Windows Phone. We're going to spotlight a Windows Phone. Of course, we're a Microsoft cloud technology partner, and we integrate uh, all types of mobile technology, but Windows Phone seems to be, for business, the best choice, and uh, we like them a lot for our business applications. So you want to create some authentic uh, shout outs, some authentic posts. And uh, as you can see here, uh, what it does is it gives you the ability to spotlight some of the products and services that you utilize. And it gives you the ability to uh, continue to, to build uh, relationships with the Facebook community on a regular basis. So you're building that with Windows Phone. Uh, you're also building that 
uh, I'm building that with Bob Sheesh here. So here's the big difference is if I spotlight this with my business profile, again, you know, I'm only able to spotlight very select uh, companies and applications that I've already liked through my business profile. I have a little bit more freedom if I do this with my personal profile, but that's going to be up to your preference, whether or not you utilize your personal profile, marketing your product, brand, services, or not. Uh, if you do, the personal profile is a great way to go with that. So uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, Facebook engagements here. So it says engage two Facebook pages on a company page. So this is a pretty consistent um, consistent Facebook engagement. And really what it does is it, it, it requests that you go out and take a look at uh, two pages and engage with them on their pages, which I've given some examples in the past. But I'm going to give you another example about how to accomplish this really effectively and engage with people that are engaged with your Facebook page. So if I select home, I'm actually going to look at the media stream uh, for Facebook or for 4C communications, and it's going to give me, you know, the companies that uh, are already connected with us. <laughs> As you can see here, uh, what I can do is I can just come through and I can look at other people's posts and engage with them. Here's one from Microsoft. Uh, what color is your mouse? And it, all, it doesn't always have to be serious. It can be engaging, funny, personal. Uh, again, your, your posts and engagements through Facebook, this is a community that's built around people, not uh, businesses or brands. So you need to make sure that you're engaging with people and not, uh, you know, not just engaging with brands. So that concludes our training for today. Again, if you're watching this on one of our syndicate sites, go ahead and click through the links below. Take advantage of some of the information that we provide on how to market your business more effectively online. And until next time, we hope you make your business a razor-sharp business.